Good day, everyone. I hope y'all are well. Thanks for tuning in. If you don't know, we are back at Ravensburg again today. I think I was kind of slinging my planter around back there. We have just got done putting crops in the ground on field six there. We put some sunflowers in. And I put those in right before I bought field 12, which also has sunflowers in it. I couldn't help it. It was like one growth state away from uh, being ready to harvest. So I thought if we bought it, threw some fertilizer on it, maybe we could kind of cash in and uh, make a little extra money that way. Or at least get the, the land fairly cheap. I don't remember what it cost. It was like a hundred and I don't know, maybe a hundred and sixty thousand, something like that. I'm trying to look in my mirror, I think that's gonna be just fine. We'll drop that guy right there. So I think we did all right. Now I don't know what we need to do here. So we're at twelve. That's our sunflowers. Now we've got these funky little lines and I believe that's because when I had a helper doing field 12 spreading fertilizer on there, but I think they were paying more attention to, whoa, the fertilizer spreader than the precision farming mod that was on the front of the tractor. So I think that's how we ended up with those stripes, but I don't think it's going to be too big of an issue to get fixed. There is field 10, and that is our carrots. And field 9, which is next to it, you can't see it, but that is our spelt. I am super excited to give spelt a try. I've never tried it before. I don't know what we're going to get out of it. When we did triticale, uh, we got some, uh, what was it? It was called grass, is what they called it. Instead of straw, we got grass. So is that, oh, okay. So I see a little spot of red and I think if we come in here and let's turn this on real, not that, that's what I wanted. Okay, so we can turn on the sensor, then go to our fertilizer spreader and we will turn it on. That should take care of it. Now I think we have to use the precision farming mod to recognize that we need fertilizer there we go because if I come off to the side I don't know you can see I don't know if you can see it or not it just turns red just before the fertilizer spreader goes over it so this is gonna this is gonna be gone very quickly and then we need to decide what we're gonna do I think I think I want to go back over to field what is it field six and I want to see if we can spread any fertilizer on there. Which way? This way? I start, I use the small map to decide where I'm going. And it's, uh, sometimes it confuses me. There we go. So here, let's get down to the end of this. And then we will take a quick look at field six as far as fertilizer goes. And see what the heck is going on there. Because I didn't have any fertilizer in the uh, planter when we put crops in the ground. So we got no fertilization state on there. But when I look at my map, it doesn't look that bad. So shut that off. Fold that up. Okay, so we do not need the precision farming tool anymore. Let's set this over here out of the way. There we go. And now let's quickly pull up the map and let's see what we've got. So you can see field six, that's soil types. Now pH, that is our lime and it looks good. I didn't spread any on it, but it still looks pretty good. Our nitrogen looks, well, uh, we've got some spots that do not look very good. I don't know if it's gonna allow us to Put any fertilizer on there or not but i think we should check it out anything to increase yield increase money it's what it's all about so i know we are going to be harvesting harvesting <laughs> harvesting uh we are going to be harvesting our spelt and carrots which i don't do carrots very often i think the last time i did was at stone valley 
2x. So let's turn that on. We got anything? And it's, oh, I was just about to say, and it's going. And then it wasn't. So it did hit that little spot of red. We will need to come back. If it's going to hit the little spots of red, maybe we need to come back once it has another growth state on it. Shut that off. And see if we can hit these spots again. Turn it on. Now is it going to get it here? And it does. I don't know if we can get anything outside of that or not. No. So, okay, so that's good. That is not a problem. Now, I have really been thinking over the animals here. And I think eventually what the overall plan is going to be is we are going to turn field 9, at least field 9, into part of the farmyard we're going to put our an some animals there now i found a very interesting thing about the bga on this map and i will show you all here in just a second well maybe what i can do is gonna go put it on a worker while it's doing that so what was it no not there so if we went over to i think this is where it would be if I am not mistaken, they, that was one BGA. But then the one that I was looking at is they were selling it to you right here for $1. You can buy your own BGA on Ravensburg for $1. Which the cool thing is, is this the exact same one that you get on the map for like 200 and what was it? 200 and something. So you come up to the biogas plant oh i always do that there we go two hundred fifty-five thousand dollars. so i can pay 255 or we can come over here and sacrifice field 10 for 96 and then pay a dollar but i think if we use field 10 and we can put i don't know where he's going where are they going Well, there you go. I think their job is done. Beautiful. So that is what I am thinking. I don't know if we're going to get to it this episode. Because we are going to need some serious cash. Not for the BGA. But when we start doing animals. You know as well as I do. It's going to take a huge amount of money. To get the animals really up and running. By the time we buy the pens. And the food for any of them. So I think that should work out really well. We might eventually get into field 12 as well. But we'll have to see how that all unfolds. So let's put this guy right over here for now. Let's grab our harvester. And let's harvest some spelt. I'm chomping at the bit for that. I want to see... What exactly we get out of it. This, I know what we're going to get as far as the spelt goes. But are we... Whoa, that's a little crazy. Are we going to get straw? Are we going to get nothing as far as a waste product? There is no better time than the present. Back up a little bit. Let's see what we got. Now, I think this header all works with spelt. Since I've never done it, I guess I'm not 100%, but we'll, we will find it. Oh, wait, I've got soybeans in here. Let's stop. I don't need that yet. Okay, so raise that. Stop it. I keep piping out. I don't know why, but my little fingers want to do that. Let me go drop off the uh, soybeans. We'll just drop it in the silo, and then we'll get our butt right back here. And we are ready. Get it all fired up. I think everything is ready to go. Well, it does harvest it. That is a plus. So it definitely gives us... Looks like it could be grass as well. It's dark green. The same as it was from Triticale. Now, I think when we harvest or did Triticale, 
I can't remember what we made off the field, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't stellar. It was an amazing amount. But we made like $80,000 off of the grass or what would be the straw, whatever you want to call it. Once we fermented that. What? Oh, what? I folded up my header. Man, I tell you, I'm a rocket scientist. Raise up. There we go. And it truly looks like we're going to get the same thing off of spelt. And so what, one trip down gave us 34% in our harvester? Not bad. So we should at least be able to empty the harvester a couple of times. So we should get, what, three trips? All, well, almost three trips, I think. Probably be full on the next trip back up. And there we go. Yeah, we're at 68%. We will not get another full trip up in the field. There we go. Come on, turn. And this thing is uh, working really hard to be turning for some reason. Well, let's go ahead and let's uh, let's just get this field done. I do not believe that we are going to make a huge amount of money off of this harvest. These two fields, nine and 10, just are not big enough to really bring in too much money. And spelt itself doesn't really pay that well either. I think it's what, six, seven hundred dollars per thousand liters? Something like that. Let's get up here and start putting this thing in the trailer. And we'll take a quick look and see see what Spelt is selling for. We didn't quite get three combines full, but we did pretty good. Two and about 80%. Not bad at all. I still think we're going to make more money off of, I'm assuming that is going to be grass or grass when it's all said and done. Is that going to fit in the trailer? Oh, I don't think it is. So, all right, so where are we going? Spelt, oh, spelt. Oh, look at that. That's not bad. We're at $1,100 per thousand liters. Well, that is, uh, that is not bad at all. That is way more than I was thinking. So how much is left? We've got 3,000 liters left. What I think we're going to do is let's go ahead and we will take this to wherever it is we are going. I'll have to look on the map, but I think the rest of it, we might just put it in the silo for now. So where are we going? We tagged it and we're Miller and Son. Miller and Son, oh! Now I know that I have not been there. Okay, so now at least I know how to get there. So all right, so we should go down here, take a right, and that should be up oh, right over there. There be. 
So let's get her butt over there. We'll get this sold, and then we need to start thinking about our carrots. And I have a harvester that I'm going to use that I've never used before. So that ought to be pretty interesting. At least for me, anyway. Hopefully it is for you all as well. All right, let's go see what we make. This little guy is kind of tucked back in here really neatly between the railroad tracks and pretty much nothing. Okay, so here we are. Here we are. Here we are now. Okay, dump it in there. So that was like 21,000. So we should make what? Bet around 25,000, 27,000, somewhere in there. It all adds up. 24. Okay. All right. That's cool. We will take it. Now, if I would bring the other 3,000 liters, you know, and I just might. Eh, you know, I'm just, let's just leave it there. I, I think it's nice to have a little bit of, uh, a little bit set back for a rainy day, if you know what I mean. We can always come back and sell it a later time if we need the cash. Now... Do I put the grass from the spelt harvest, do I put it back in the uh, silage bunker, or do I just want to do bales? I'm kind of thinking bales just to get the money and get it right now. Patience is not one of my virtues, <laughs> not by any stretch. It just not. Well, we can have a little time to ponder that because I think we're going to do the carrots first. Now, the carrots, they don't usually sell for a bunch, but they usually have a lot of uh, product. The harvest is good. So you don't, you don't get a lot per thousand liters, but you get a lot of liters out of the field. So let's get on up here. Park this guy, and then I'll show you what I'm thinking of. You guys have probably already used it or seen it before. Let's see here. So we need that and potato technology. Is that the guy? I did. Oh, not potatoes. What am I doing? We're not doing potatoes. So where, oh, where was I going to find this at? So I think it's Grimmy, I believe, is going to be it. Lots of potato things here, obviously. Potatoes. Oh, wait a second. There we are. This guy right here. Now, you can use a header in one of those Mondo machines. Or you got the Rootster 604 multi-fruit. And I think we can pull this. Yes, we can. So I think this is going to work out really well for us. Because if you... Get the machine, it's like twenty some thousand dollars to rent it, then another five thousand dollars for the header. Now we could well if I do second hand, then it I have to repair it. So let's go. We don't we're not gonna do the standard speed, that's for sure. Capacity. Whoa, we can do twelve thousand liters. And it doesn't cost us any more. It costs us ten grand no matter what. Which I hate it when they do that. If you're going to charge me 10 grand, then just put it on the price. Don't say, you know, it's like going to a car lot and we're going to sell it to you for 20,000. Oh, well, not really. Don't, don't do that. That's not good. So let's lease it. 5,500 and we've got it. And I think all we need to do now is a tractor. Now, uh, yeah. Okay. So what tractor do we want to use? Oh, uh, we have this. I didn't see. Let's see. Does it tell us if I go rented here? Hold up. Does it tell us what kind of horsepower we need? 185. I, I do not think that the New Holland is going to do that. But this guy will. Let's use the Challenger. Well, that goes 26. Uh, you know, I'm not going to use the Challenger. Let's use the case. I'm really jonesing for a, tra a tractor upgrade. I'm tired of 26 miles an hour, to be truthful to y'all. We may have to do something sooner rather than later. I think I've complained and griped about this tractor every in every episode. 
I think it might be time to move on. The problem I have is every time I go looking for a different tractor, I get a little bit of sticker shock from the price, and we're not sitting extremely well with money, and I hate to lease if I don't have to. So I went looking several times, and well, here we are, still sitting with the same tractor. Oh, you know, I think... I might have messed up. I don't know if this guy needs to have the tops removed or not. Oh, wrong button, man. Wrong button, as always. So let's uh, lower harvester. All right, that's what I just said. Maybe I need to do pipe out. There we go. Lower, turn on. Lower. Why is it not lowering? Well, I don't know. Does it? I would assume it needs to lower, but whatever reason, it is not. Now, I'm wondering if we still need to remove the tops off of these guys as well. I am thinking we do. Let me go in. Let's go in here and check. Just to be on the safe side. We were here at Grimmy. Let's go over. Usually it says that we will need to remove the tops, right? Ah, the topper is needed. Okay, so there we are. We do need the Hollum topper. Where, oh, where is that topper? Right there. That's it. 10 grand. What's the working? 3.2 meters. Okay. Oh, I think that's all we got, isn't it, for a topper? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a... So, look at that. That's interesting. Okay, so let's rent this now that we've done that. And factory new. Nine mile an hour. Well, we want it to go faster than that. Oh, too far. 13.1. Let's lease it. Beautiful. Okay, so let me run down to the shop. And we will grab that guy. And then I'll meet you just right back here. Alrighty, let's see if this guy gives us any better luck. Let's lower. Now see, that one lowers. Go figure, and we'll turn it on. And... Okay. <laughs> uh, Alright, hello. Now, uh, uh, Houston, we have a problem. Now, does the does that work with carrots? I mean, it doesn't say. It says potatoes, but one like this one. Now, what do we do when I think that's the only topper that they offer, is it not? It's the only topper that I see. Oh, well, this is a different one. But they don't say for carrots. One says for potatoes and one says for sugar beets. Oh, very interesting. So am I going to have to run down and grab another topper and see if that one works? I guess so. I don't know what else to do. Let's do it. Let's try that one too. Factory new. Yes, indeed. So let's pick up the pace. And we are just going to lease that. Okay, so I guess I'm going to run back down to the store. And let's see if we can get this thing figured out. I'm sure it is all on me. It's just uh, ignorant of whatever needs to be done. One way or another, we will get those carrots harvested. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so now let's give this a whirl. Now, I did have a thought. 
because I had the other topper hooked up to the front of my tractor. I wonder if I was supposed to hook it up to the back like this one. Well, <laughs> oh, so funny. Well, as I had said, I am not the brightest bulb in the box. So I'll show you what I found here. So we go back into Grammy, and if we go all the way over here, this one here in the middle, that is, uh, that is the Hollum Topper. I thought that was the uh, harvester that goes on the front of the big one, you know, the big machine, but I was, uh, I was wrong. <laughs> and is it going to, oh, there it goes. Look at that, just like it's supposed to. That is beautiful. So now I wonder if we hired a worker, could they come in and do this while we were doing the harvesting? I would think that would work. You can see all the little carrots in the ground there. Let's get them up here, get them turned around, and we're we'll kind of get them rocking. And then we need to grab probably the Challenger. I don't think uh, the new the new Holland might have worked for the topper. But it's a little late now. There we go. Let's line this up where I know they're going to get it all. I think that should be good. So let's go over and find a Challenger here. Yep, look at that. I love it when it's the first tab. It's always so nice. Usually, it you have to go all the way through, and if you just went the other way, you would have been there. But I tend to go the wrong way. That's just how it goes. What you gonna do? You're in a Barrett, as they say. So the New Holland, I think, is around somewhere with our trailer, is it not? Oh, well, there's the trailer. Okay, well, that's not bad. Maybe if we have to, we can just pull off the field. So now the trick is, is this going to... So we come up. And it still will not lower harvester. I don't understand about that. So if we turn it on, it's on. Well, I guess we don't have to lower harvester. I, should, I shouldn't worry about it. Because there it goes. This is going to be, what in the, what, what are you doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, okay. Now I've done no modifications to this field whatsoever. I even put the, what is it, the RTX station? up so that the helpers should do a better job they're they're not doing a better job they are just not but what are you gonna do you're gonna suck it up and deal with it buttercup that's about all you can do so we have almost 50 percent of this thing full with one trek up the field I mean, that's good. That is very good. But this is going to... So now they're going to... Oh, my. I, just, just, I won't even look. I'll just keep my eyes closed and let them do what they do. I'm trying to... Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. I'm trying to decide if running a speedy is a good idea here. I think it is. I don't know that we're going to run it for the entire field. Just because I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. How long it's going to take. And as you know, I do not like to run super long speedies here.
So this should fill up our trailer once again. We got just a little over 9,000. It wasn't quite 10, somewhere around there. Nine to 10, not quite 10, but between there, we did pretty good. Ah, oh, and they missed more. My goodness, the worker cutting off the tops is the biggest pain in my butt. They do not like to do what they need to do. This guy uh, has a little, uh, little needs a little bit more horsepower. That is what I am trying to say. It is a little bit doggy, but that is kind of to be expected. Carrots evidently are heavy. So we are going to, I mean, I think we should get like 50, 60 grand off of all of these. Something like that. It is filling up quite quickly. But let's get in here and uh, get this dump. Now I've ended up where I am just trying to keep everybody going. Kind of jumping over, emptying the harvester out, taking care of the topper seeing if we can keep keep it all moving that's really the big thing and they're almost full again ah this is a good problem to have mind you very good problem to have so we should break we should break the two hundred thousand again so 95 67 there we go right in the middle perfect i didn't even notice but we are not even halfway done with this field which should work out about right. I mean, we really should get right about 50,000 out of it, I think. Somewhere around there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep on bouncing back and forth. I don't think I'm going to continue the speedy on this. I said I don't want to I don't want to run a 5-minute speedy. It's just not the it's just not good. Nobody wants to watch that. Or at least I don't. So if I don't want to watch it, I'm not going to make somebody else but we should get this knocked out fairly quickly. And if anything uh, exciting happens, I will most certainly share it with you. So let me get on this and I will see you all in just a few. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. We are topping off trailer number five. So we are going to make almost exactly, well, a little more than 50000 So that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Now they left a little bit, for whatever reason, down at this end of the field. But we can clean that up, you know, quite quickly. Shouldn't be too bad. So I think what we should do is we'll run down to the store, we'll sell this, finish off the field, and then kind of go from there. Now there's a couple things that uh, we could do. As you can see, I do have the uh, fertilizer spreader filled up and sitting there. And I've got lime in there. And I don't know if it's actually the field over here, number 12, I think it is. I don't know if it's going to take any or not. But I want to check just to make sure. I had forgotten that I have time set at zero because I did not want that field to uh, go to the final growth state before we had a chance to check it out and make sure that it uh, didn't need any lime. I want to try to milk the best harvest we can out of it. We should come out, I think, just fine. Last time I looked anyway, sunflowers were selling for an extremely good price. I hope that they still are, but we will have to take a look, a little look-see. But we've got the uh, lime to try to spread on field 12. And then we also have the, I'm assuming that it's grass, that is on field 10 or 9. One of the two. Which one did we just harvest? Let's go over here. It'd be field 9. That's what I'm thinking. And another 9567. The price has stayed steady. It hasn't dropped at all. We've got exactly the same amount every time we've done. But I need to, I think we might have time that we can do both. For one, I don't, if we don't have to actually spread lime on there, if it doesn't take it, it's not going to take us very long at all. 
Now, the next question is, there's always a question in there. Always a decision. Oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, come on. Oh, oh, that's so... Come on. Arr! What? Go. Okay, there we go. That's, that's real good on my wall and my trailer. But, anywho, before I was so rudely interrupted, do we... If we're going to make bales, which I think we are... Do we want to uh, do we want to keep the same setup? Because I had mentioned in the last episode that I was about done with with that whole bale setup just because of how slow it was, and I still feel the same way. But my problem is, is I really don't have a better solution other than the fast baler for speed and for money. Really, by the time you buy other balers and then wrappers that are going to do the same job, it just doesn't make any sense, at least with the mods that I have installed. It doesn't make any sense to go with anything but the fast baler. So I think if that's what we're going to do, then I think that's what we should do is we should go ahead and get the fast baler. Now, I don't know if I'm going to rent it or if I'm going to buy it at this point in time. I hate to spend the money to buy the baler we've got other ways to go with our money as far as expanding the farm especially if we're going to take this field here and we are going to turn it into something other than an arable field if we're going to start putting uh, buildings and stuff on here I don't think that we should be spending half of our money on a baler so that's what I am thinking anyway. Let me go over here. There we go. So let's stop that. I'm just going to go ahead and take over. That way when we get down at the end here, we can go ahead. Oh, uh, did I screw the pooch here? I did. Nope. Uh-oh. Man, oh man, that track back up uh, gets a little away from me there. And I got it on. What do I got? What do I got going on? Okay, so I got it turned on. Okay, we should be picking up carrots. Picking up. We're not picking up carrots. Why am I not picking up carrots? It's on. Well, I got 1756. What in the world is going on? Now if I turn it on, how's that? No. What is it doing to me? Okay, maybe I should... Now he lowers it just fine, but I try to lower it, and no! <laughs> it's not going to work for me. Well, all right. It did work at least when we started. It was working just fine. So now I'm just going to need to try to finish up this little end here. And I can't, I can't get it to pick up a carrot. What is it doing to me? You goofy thing. I cannot get it to lower down for anything. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe we can do this a little bit differently here. Hold on. Let's come over here. If it's not going to do it the easy way, we will see about doing it this way. And then if I leave it on a worker, how's that going to happen? Uh, no, nope. where are you going? That was a little crooked, evidently. Okay. So that that was not uh, how I actually intended that to go. I know you're shocked. How about there? Okay, so we drop it. These last few carrots are making me work for it. But, waste not, want not. I want every dime 
that I can get here. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. Okay. There we go. Now this should do it, right? And go, go. There we are. Okay. Awesome. Now let's uh, pipe out. We're good there. So I don't think this is going to give us a full trailer, but it is going to be pretty darn good. Shut that off. Look at that. I have been really happy with the carrot harvest. I think we've done well. I am I think we made more money than I was thinking we were going to make. Now what? We've got to... Uh, 24,000 is what we made out of spelt before the bales. So I think what we can do is let's get up here, let's get this dumped, and then we will see how much money we've made off of harvest today. And that should give us a pretty good idea of what we ended up pulling in. She's almost empty, so let's see. And boom, there it is, another 8,000. So let's scroll on over. And what did we make off of Harvest? So we made 89,000 off of Harvest. That's pretty good. I am uh, I am pretty stoked with that. I think we came out extremely well. I mean, carrots, they just don't sell for that much. So now we need to move on to the next thing. And we need to decide, I guess, whether we're going to start placing things or if we want to plant that field one more time. And I am not sure. To me, the field is small enough that I don't think we're going to lose that much if we start putting other things there. But it is definitely something that I think we need to ponder just a little bit. Let's stop that guy there. Oh, well, look at that. I left the thing running. So I do want my menu up. And we are on activation. Active. Automatic application rate. That's what I was trying to spit out. And fertilizer spreader is on. So we do not need lime on here at all. We're golden. There's anywhere else that needs anything like that. So, uh, no, I don't really want that. Uh, those are soil types. What was that? Oh, that was yield. We don't have a yield yet. So that's nitrogen. pH. pH looks really good, if you ask me. So I th I'm thinking right now that there's nothing else that we need. pH looks good. I mean, if anything, nitrogen. But we can't put any of that down. No more for fertilizers. So I guess we are good. That makes it easy. Let's go ahead and turn that fertilizer. Hey, wait, wait. Oh, wait a second. Hold the phone. Now it is. I guess I thought I had the darn thing on. But I guess I didn't. Okay, oh, stop it. I don't want to be fertilizing that. Now, where are we at here? Let me see if I can get this all cleaned up and squared up. Oh, well, there we go. I guess I was mistaken. I thought I had the darn thing on and I had it off. My goodness. A rocket scientist, I am not. <laughs> So there we go. All we need to do now is get this thing knocked out. I don't think it's going to be too bad. But it should help our yield. And that is what it's all about for sure. Now I do think I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to go get this done. I don't think we're going to hire a worker for any of this.
And there we go. We made pretty short work out of this guy. There's definitely a benefit to having some smaller fields. Profit isn't the benefit, but <laughs> they get done a lot quicker. That's for sure. And there it is. Finished. We used, well, almost half of this thing full of lime. Now, does she look better? Uh, nitrogen, I want pH. Isn't that what I was looking for? That is uh, pH, it is. Now, I wish I had another growth state because we would throw another uh, fertilizer, coat of fertilizer on there. But I think we have missed that boat. So with that done, we've done pretty good so far. And the last thing that I want to get done, I'm just going to park this guy right here. There we go. Is I think we need a baler for our grass over there. So let's go here. And pink, pink, and baling technology. Where, oh, where? There we go. Like I said there just doesn't seem to be anything else. By the time you buy a wrapper and a baler, I mean, this one's 76 grand. I don't even know if it's a square baler or not. There's a square, ba square baler. And it's not high price. It's 105000 Now, I must say, if I came over here and we have, what is it? The John Deere. You can get the John Deere 690 for twelve grand. Now, that would definitely be cheaper, but it's not really going to be faster, I don't think. Really, to me, the fast bail is just it. So let's just get it. And we will do factory new. Let's go with the green for money. Uh, Vicon, you know, Caverlin, Vicon. Let's go Vicon. Wheel brand. Trailer Borg it is. And 11 miles an hour. Well, we know we're going to bump that up as far as it will go. And it's going to cost us $5,600. Wow, per hour operating cost is $2,300, $1,100 per day, but let's let's get it, let's do it, it's going to make us money, you know it's going to make us money. Now I did not look at what the horsepower rating is, but I do believe we should be just fine. So let's get down to the store, let's grab the fast baler, and let's get field number 9 done and that means that everything that we started today we will have finished now that is the way i like to do it working square is uh is for me i watch some other guy and they're like oh we've got this halfway done we'll stop and it drives me crazy i don't i don't like to do i like to get in get it started get it finished so you can wrap it up there's an end to it you know so with that being said i think let's get this thing done Go fast, Baylor, go. Oh, well, that's not, like, super fast. Now, <laughs> is it? Is it because of lack of horsepower, I wonder? Or is it just got too much product and it's going to take that long to, uh, to do it? I don't know. We might check it out. So we've got horse wet hay. That's what we're looking at now. It wasn't grass, it was horse wet hay. So horse grass, I would assume, is what we would call that. Wet horse grass, or actually wet horse hay. Whew. My goodness, can anybody actually keep up with all the different types of grasses and things? I know I cannot. It is beyond, beyond me, for sure. I just do the best I can and hope. I'll muddle through it. I'll get through it one way or another. Come on, turn, baby, turn. You got it. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so I think we've got a few trips here to do. Looks like we get about two bales per trip. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we should get roughly 18 bales. That's what I'm going to say. Give or take one or two. So let's put our nose to the grindstone and let's get this picked up.
So now I'm guessing the big question again is how much does horse grassledge or silage sell for? To be honest, I've never known even how to get horse grass. I guess now I know. <laughs> you harvest spelt. There it is. So let's see. If I go here, can I quickly try to get it lined up? Let's see here. Click. It should be pretty much all the way down here, right? Horse silage is 546. That is not bad at all. I think it's pretty good. I don't know in comparison to the other silages what it is, but I would assume it is right about the same. And there we go. Now, I do not think we're going to have enough for another bale. So we will have some horse wet hay left in this guy. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, we still need about 20%. There's a couple little specks around that we can get, but I don't think it's going to really lead to much. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so let's raise it up, shut it off. Now, let's see. Where is where is our bale trailer? I think it's right over here. Beautiful it is. We'll drop that there. Now, I think we are going to need two trips. We'll have to check and see where we're going as well. No hill for a stepper. All right. So, where are we at? Horse silage. And that is Ravensburg Barn. Now, if you guys are noticing in some of my thumbnails, and when I spelled Ravensburg, I spelled it B-U-R-G, which is the way I believe Berg is supposed to be spelled. And it is wrong. On here, it's B-E-R-G. So I, spe I spelled the darn name wrong. Uh, I'm like, Really? But yes, yes I did, because I'm a maroon. Maybe I should have looked, but I didn't. I didn't notice it till I was making the thumbnail on my last video. And I'm like, wait, wait a second, that's not right. Oh, nuts! So what? This thing holds 14 bales. So yeah, we will definitely get it in two trips, but it is gonna take two trips. Boom. Boom shuggalugga. We may at some point in time, if we end up with a bigger field, we might go ahead and grab ourselves a bigger bale trailer as well. Just to make things a little bit easier, but we'll get there. We've got a lot of things to do to make things just a little bit easier. So let's uh, let's go to the Ravensburg and uh, get these sold. This is a very popular place to be selling our wares here. That's for sure. I think every episode we show up here at least once because they have the best price. Oh, I'm like, why won't I go forward? Oh, there's a fence. And drop, and, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I guess, I see, I'm trying to look cool. <laughs> it ain't working. Unload them. What are you doing? Unload bales here. There we go. Wow. 30 grand we got for that. That is nice. Once again, uh, spelt and, uh, Triticale are very good crops. That is pretty sweet. So we don't, we're not going to get 30 again, but we are going to get what? Probably maybe 10. I don't think we have seven bales left. I was thinking half. That's why I came up with seven bales. I was thinking, do we have half? No, I don't think we have half the number of bales left. But let's get up here and let's figure out what we got left. Get them sold. 
and see where we're going to be setting. We have done extremely well as far as money goes today. And I think it's going to do nothing but get better. We are definitely going to be expanding the farm in some way, shape, or form in the next episode. I'm not sure uh, if it's going to be with the animals, which I'm thinking, I'm thinking it should. I've been jonesing for the animals for a while, so I think Field 10 is going to transform. I have a few things in mind. I'm not sure if they're going to work, but they, uh, they just might. I think we might try to make Field 9 a little bigger and then field 10 will basically go away so we'll have to see how all that's going to lay out for sure i don't know yet i haven't sat down and tried to figure any of that out but we'll get there and Corey had asked uh, if i would do pigs so i most definitely will be doing some pigs and I still think that I want to do the, uh, the organic milk. I just want to give it a shot and see what it's all about. See if there's any different products that go in there. See if there's anything different. You know, that's what it's all about. Whoa. We'll check it out. See what we got. So we didn't have seven bales, but we did have six. So let's uh, unload unload here there we go what did we get 13 very nice so what we got 24 for the harvest the crop then 30 for the bales that would be 54 64 67,000 is what we made off of that small field now that is not bad at all it is not bad at all but I think we're going to probably just wrap it up here. I think we did good. We're at a good stopping point. We made, uh, we made some good money. We are sitting pretty good for the next episode. We've got a couple of crops in the ground. They should be coming close to uh, harvest time. Man, them trucks come around that corner a little fast. If you all have any ideas, any suggestions of what you would like me to do, or if there's something I do that you don't like, I probably can't help that too much, but maybe <laughs> we'll see. Just let me know. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate the likes and everything. Be good, everyone. And until next time, see ya.